Now it's time to start the rigging. First activate the controller layer and hide the geometry layer. Select the angle, go to the animation, IK solvers, HI solver and then select the tie. We just made our first IK solver. Rename the gizmo to left underline hill dash IK dash goal underline HLP. Repeat this and connect toe to ankle and name it ball IK goal. Then connect the toe knob to the toe and name it toe IK goal. For the helpers, I can use points, dummies, or shapes. I prefer using shapes because I can edit them to look like what I want. And also, I can select them all just by changing the selection filter to shapes. It would be great to create the shapes in a way that is easy to select and manipulate. So, I create this simple cube using four rectangles to use as a controller. Create a copy of it and name it Hill Field. Then align it to the toe bone in position and orientation using pivot to pivot. You can adjust the local Z axis for a cleaner look. Now copy the hill pill and name it hill. Then align it with the ankle only in position because we have the correct rotation from hill pill. Shift and drag the hill and name it toe lift and align it with the toe knob in position. Copy the hill pill and name it toe tap. Go to the modify panel and in the spline mode make it slightly larger so you can select it easily. Unhide the geometry layer and go to a side view. Select the hill and set its Z axis to 0. Do the same to the toe lift and adjust its position. Now select all the shapes and add L underline as the prefix and underline HLP as the suffix. Hide the geometry layer and link both ball IK goal and hill IK goal to the hill field. Link the toe IK goal to the toe tab. Now select both the hill field and the toe tab and link them to the toe lift. Shape to write my custom attributes on. Unhide the geometry layer again and draw a shape around the foot. I prefer simple shapes, so I use a rectangle. Now hide the geometry and align the pivot of the controller to the ankle bone only in position. Name it L underline foot underline CTRL so we know it's a controller shape not a helper and link the heel helper to the foot controller. Select all the helpers and controllers and freeze their transform. Before moving to the next part let's do the same for the right leg. Let's copy all the helpers and controllers and isolate them. Then select them all and remove their connections using the Unlink Selection button. Now select them one by one and revert their x-axis value. Go to the front view and compare them. You can see that we have to fix their orientations as well. Now we can align them to their bones and use the same Z value to fix their look. 
In my case, it was negative 1045. Now I can see I've done something wrong and it can ruin my entire rig and it's because I'm using a pen instead of a mouse and it moves the bones as soon as I select them. That's why I have a small difference in position. First I align them to their bone only in position. and align their orientation to the heel pill. Since we are here, let's create the right side eye case and do the hierarchical connections. After we have done the connections and fixing the positions, change their names and freeze their transforms. 